Hello and welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. I have a flip through for you guys today. Um, I was going to do the Momo Girls and then I ended up doing a whole bunch of stuff for Girl Scouts and laundry and, you know, things and stuff. And um, so I don't really have time today. But I did go to Hobby Lobby to get some stuff for Girl Scouts and of course, you know, you can't like go into a craft store without hitting like the crafts and the coloring and paint and all that you can't go in there without hitting that section too and i've been eyeing this online um i had a 40 percent off coupon so it was not the 14.99 it was like eight something so i'm cool with that so this is millie Murata's wildlife wonders um it says here it is let me fix that focus is favorite illustrations from coloring adventures so um Zerga did also mention that this is just basically from other books but I only have like one or two other books so I feel comfortable buying a compilation versus um you know buying another three or four books so uh I thought I'd flip through this and show you guys what's in here um obviously if it's a compilation books uh, these are either the artist's favorite or the one she sees colored most or, or stuff like that. So you're kind of getting the best of the best here is my feeling. See if you feel the same. So let's go on into it. Um, move that out of the way. And the paper is on a medium weight. It's pretty good, like 65 weight, 65 pound weight. Um, it is white, it is, you know, I can see my fingers through there, um, but without like light shining on it, you can't see the print on the other side, but if you bring it up, you can see it. Um, so this is the first page, that page, who cares, the introduction, um, goes into to coloring and all sorts of stuff. So she says, an idea came to me that I should create a book that brings together a collection of those favorite illustrations, which have inspired the coloring community to create the most flabbergasting, eye-popping, outstanding artworks. So, compilation. Um, oh, so pretty. So, this is, I'm going to try to keep it in camera here. Here we go. You have like a lovely moth or butterfly, depending on how you color it. Ow. And uh, as I said, it's not super heavy weight, but it is 65 pound ish. And because I like, I'm gonna pop the spine here. Uh, popped it. There we go. I like that flat spine. I don't like the hump. I don't like the hump. So these are some some very pretty pretty illustrations. Um, this type isn't necessarily my favorite, but I might use it to like test. This would be a good test page for me, so I can test my watercolors and I can test, you know, my Tombows and oh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's test a pit pen. Let's get uh, medium flesh. Cause why not, right? If you hear any like popping sounds or Velcro sounds, that's just my cats. They're getting too fat for that window seat. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to glue it together. So, another thing goes through. Let's try Tombow's. Let's try, let's try a dark color. Let's try whatever this color is. The 528. Let's try this color. I am putting a lot, a lot of layers on there, more than I normally would. And again, just a hint of a shadow. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit, just a hint of a shadow. So maybe not a lot of layers on on those watercolor uh, markers.
This is a beautiful, beautiful. This is kind of what I would wish Joanna Basford's um, Lost Ocean would have been like. Instead of all the the, the little things, like I, I would love just big, big open. That's my personal preference. As much as I don't, so as much as I don't like big open areas, I think this is perfect. It has fiddly bits, but it has a large overall theme, and I really dig that. That's cute. Another kind of tester page for me. I'd probably test out, you know, backgrounds or something. And crab and octopus and quail? Pheasants? Probably pheasants. And it is, um, I don't know if you can see that, that is um, not only glue bound, but it is uh, stitched as well. Little fox. Uh, so when I flipped through this in, in the store, I came across this and I'm like, this is what I'm used to seeing from Millie Murata. Not this. And this intrigued the heck out of me. I thought this was super cool. Um, so this is this would be one I definitely want to color. And I don't know if she was like kind of trying something different or what. I would love to know the story behind this page. If anybody knows it, leave me a comment down below. Peacock. I don't know what you are. A wolf. Something in that lupine family. Flamingo. Oh, what are these birds that make their nests like that? They're super cool. They're fun. Like, if you ever find a time-lapse video, if I could remember that bird's name. Some sort of uh, hawk or raptor bird. Fish. Seahorse. I think this is adorable. Like something like this, I would just take my pit pens and just like color. And then I might take like a, a pencil or something and shade a little bit. But I, I think just straight taking, taking a marker and coloring it is super fun. Chameleon. Birds. More birds. Oh, this is cool. And it reminds me of the, the Hannah Carlson's got a page. And then I've seen other people do the hexagon. He yeah, hexagon, six sides. Hexagon pattern on the B page on Inky and the Ivy Butterfly. That's cool with the... Um, I know words. Caterpillar. Oh, look at that. I like that the, the peacock is not centered in the crack. I like that. I like the off-centered. That was a really good, a really good choice there. Nelly Murata. Thumbs up. Bat. Some sort of antelope or deer. Froggy. Oh, all the greens. All the greens. Another antelope or deer. Oh, what's the one with the spirelies? My daughter would know. Dragonflies, another bird. Snakes. Snakes on a plane. I've seen some really cool renditions of this snake. Some more moths. That almost looks like a roadrunner. But it can't be, I don't think. These look like cardinals. I, I'm from Ohio. I know, I know my cardinals when I see them. And these, they don't look like they have any tails, so they're not beavers. I don't know what they are. Little micey things or something. More fishies. Oh, these are the, those cool, um, seahorse that they look like seaweed and then they curl up on it and they like purposefully move their body. Just like, it's super cool. I saw that in the aquarium when we went over the summer. More burbs, chicken, hippos, a koala bear, toucan, another chameleon. Again, 
We have now gone away from, I wonder if this is early work or new work. I'm curious to know, is this early work or new work? If you know, let me know. Because we've gone off from the, the other stuff. So I don't know if this is new or old. I'd be interested to know. Oh, what are these little things? They're super cute. They kind of hop like uh, kangaroos. Some more little birds. Another antelope thingy and a bird. And praying mantis. And a bumblebee. And I know this word, a pineapple. I tell you, I'm just like octopus with all its tentacles. Cute lizard, another bird, lobster, flying fish. Again, this is in a different style. Really, I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. These all look like hummingbirds. Because I've seen this one, I've seen this one. Um... And I think this one at my grandma's. She's got hummingbird fingers everywhere. Another one in that odd style. Elephant. Cockroaches. Yay. Another jellyfish. Crustacean. I don't know, he's maybe a female lion, some cranes or herons, other crane-like birds, snails, again in the, in the different style, and this in the different style too. I mean, you can see kind of where it comes from, but the, the hatch marks aren't as typical or as prevalent as they are in some of those other ones. I never can say this right. Naxiodal. And this is a, looks like an eye eye. It might not be. Turtle. More flamingos. Some more buggies. Some more birds. Butterfly. Another crab. Another bird. Nice. Flower leaf page, an eel. I had to see a big mouth eel on video today. That was fun. A lemur, another bird. And I only know so many animals, elephant, another bird, because my daughter like watches um, Animal Planet and all, all those other stuff. Like she watches that like crazy. Platypus. You know, platypus are poisonous, the males. I think it's just the males. It might be both. They have a stinger in their their rear foot. Some sea life coral. Some more moths. Oh, what's the... He looks like it's a yeti crab or something. Because his, his arms are really long, but they're really, really hairy. I think they're called a yeti crab. Hummingbird. More like a sea life coral thing. Oh no, there's a little seahorse in there. See, that's what they do. They get into the coral and they blend in with it. Super cool. I've got, mm, oh, a squirrel. I was gonna say, I've got no idea. No, it looks like a squirrel. There's the head and it's like tails wrapped up. Something like a little mousy. Another like dragonfly bird. Oh, this is pretty. All the macaws. That's super pretty. I really dig this page. It's a lot going on, but I dig it. Warthog, a wart, warthog maybe? Beaver. Grasshopper. Toucan. 
or moths or butterflies, probably moths by that shape. Um, oh, I don't know what, a tapir? No, maybe. This is that weird, oh gosh, fox, I forget what he's called. I want to call him a chupacabra, but I know that's not what he is. But that's kind of where the name goes. Oh well. Birds. It was the only thing come to mind. Another owl. And this is gorgeous. I love owls. Ferns or something. Lion. Are these fennec foxes with the big ears? Maybe. It's also very hard to tell what something is when it's got all the busy stuff on it. Nice beetle. Another bird. I um, don't know my birds very well. Another bird. Almost looks like it's trying to be a peacock, but not really. Another snake. And then... She says, create your wildlife wonder here, but, you know, test pages, basically. So that is the book, which is the Millie Murata's Wildlife Wonders, favorite illustrations from Coloring Adventures. I dig it. There's a couple pages in here that I will totally um, get into at some point. And hopefully next week my life will not be quite so hectic and I can get back to, because I feel better. And I can get back into the Momo Girls and finish off that page. Even though the red is still scaring the crap out of me. But there you go. Um, links uh, are in the description down below. I will link this to uh, Amazon Associates link. Um, it does not cost you any extra, but it does give me a small portion, which then goes back into the channel. Um, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you subscribed, hit the bell button to get notifications for when I upload next. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.